I challenge myself to make a game in 20 minutes. Seems impossible, right? Well, yes and no. Making a good game would take a decent amount of time, while making a bad game wouldn't. And I might just be a professional at making bad games. Planning out a game would save us a lot of time in the long run. I mean, it's 20 minutes, there really isn't no long run. I've decided to make a game about a turret trying to shoot a wall, and I have to place down hexagons to protect the wall. Why hexagons, you may ask? Well. I have no clue. But to be honest, this seems simple, I should be able to make this in 20 minutes. First up, we need to make a new project. The Hexagon of Death. Sounds like complete shit. Now we need the timer. Wait, this isn't right. Oh god damn, guess I'll just use this. First off, we need the hexagon, because it's literally the name of the game. I made the hexagon blue and gave it a script. Here we need to make the hexagon spawn at our mouse position. We can easily do that by creating a mouse position vector and instantiating the hexagon where the mouse cursor is located. And quaternion identity. Yeah, I don't know what that means, but it has something to do with rotation, and rotation is really complicated, so I don't think that I should be poking it with a stick. Afterwards, I made a bullet and combined a square and a bean to make a turret. Yeah, that's one ugly looking turret. But now we need to make the bullet actually come out of the turret. That can easily be done by creating a timer and constantly taking away time from it. And if our time is equal to zero, we spawn in the bullet and reset the timer. Now we need to make the bullet actually hit our hexagon. So I built a wall and gave our wall, bullet and hexagon a rigid body and a collider. A rigid body is basically just physics and we need it so that our bullet could actually hit the hexagon. By doing a little bit of coding, we can make it so that if our bullet collides with a wall, the game will restart. And if it hits our hexagon, the hexagon will be destroyed. If you don't know what's going on here, then don't worry because me neither. But all that matters is that the game runs without any problems. But as soon as I said that, we encountered our first issue. Okay, it's not really an issue, but we can spawn hexagons infinitely and that would just make the game e How the to fix this problem, we can make the hexagon only spawn once by searching the scene if a hexagon exists, and if there isn't one, we can place it. Our game is basically done, but we still have a decent amount of time left, so I'm going to add a scoring system. Adding a scoring system is fairly easy, we just need to install something. Oh for fuck, we can make scoring by making a script and in that script we can text.text and make it say the score. Of course now it's going to say zero because we need to add a score every single time we block a bullet. We can do that by creating a private score score and setting the score to game object score, get component score and score.score .score incremented by one. That was a lot of scores. And just like that it works. And our time is about to end. 3, 2, 1. I was expecting a sound, but okay. And in 20 minutes, I made this. If I'm being honest, I'm pretty proud of this. Yes, I know I have very low standards, but all that matters is that the game works. Making a game in 20 minutes was the worst 20 minutes of my life, but I somehow managed to make a functional game. Not a fun one, but at least functional. Anyways, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, or the hexagon of death will find you.